week. An abstinence 2.0 has just been released, the jailbreak iOS 5.1.1 untethered uh, for pretty much all the devices that can upgrade to that software. Uh, so you can just go ahead and you can see them all right here. It says support for the iPad 2 4 will be added later. Um, I'm not exactly sure which model that is. If you want to figure that out, just go ahead and Google search that. Um, and I'm sure you'll find something on that. Uh, but the site has all the links up here uh, for version 2.0. Um, this is the first version for iOS 5.0.1, but of course we're going to be doing 5.1.1 now. Uh, I So you're going to go ahead and uh, download that. Just in case something goes wrong through the jailbreak process, you may have to restore. Um, I can pretty much guarantee that your device will not permanently be broken. Uh, you can always get your device restored through iTunes. Um, and if you save a backup, you can always get your stuff all back. Uh, so go ahead and sync it with iTunes and transfer your purchases and everything and um, back it up with iTunes. Uh, second, if you rely on a carrier unlock, upgrading to 5.1.1 may uh, update your baseband and that will lose your unlock. Uh, so if you're if you're already on 5.1.1, it doesn't matter, it's already too late. Uh, but if you aren't and you rely on a carrier unlock, you may want to research that also using Google or whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Um, but you may want to research that a little bit to figure out uh, if upgrading to 5.1.1 will upgrade your baseband and lose your, your uh, unlock. It won't always lose your unlock, it depends on the unlock that you have. Um, I know there was like SAM, there was a package in city you could use, um, and that I believe does not is not affected by upgrading to 5.1.1, but you'll have to Google search that because I can't tell you. Um, I'm not very familiar with unlocking, I've never had to do it, so... Uh, yeah, just go ahead and Google search that and you should be able to figure something out. In the directions here, showing you how to use 2.0, um, it says to go to settings on your device. It says first to make a backup by uh, right-clicking on your device in iTunes. So in iTunes, your, your device is in the left column. You're going to right-click on the name of it and then hit backup. Um, and then it says to go to your device and go to settings app, general, reset, erase all content and settings. Um, and it says that'll make the jailbreak process much faster. I've never done it this way, um, but I can guarantee you can trust them. Uh, so I would assume this would be a lot faster. What I do is I go into iTunes and I restore and then I set up my device as new. And then all your settings and stuff are all, um, they're all erased and set back to the factory defaults. But I just do it because I don't want all my previous old jailbreak data in my backup. Uh, so that way I get a nice fresh re restore and I save all the memory and I don't have any of the other um, old jailbreak garbage in there. I know because if you um, set up your device as new, you can get everything back except for your app data. Uh, so what I do is actually when I'm jailbroken, I was jailbroken on 5.0.1, um, there's this app called Data Deposit in Cydia that you can download. And then I take all of my, um, and then you pretty much upload that to Dropbox. And then when you jailbreak again, you get you get Data Deposit again, and you can restore all of the, uh, the information to uh, your phone or whatever you're jailbreaking. So that way you get all your app data back. So the only time you won't have your app data is when uh, you're not jailbroken. And basically, you can always be jailbroken. There's always a jailbreak that you can normally do unless you have an upgrade or something when Apple releases new software. That's how I do it. Um, but you guys, you guys may want to try um, this way that he recommends because I'm sure it's um, better. I'm sure he's going to say the best way. And then basically after the jailbreak's done, uh, we're going to go into iTunes and then hit right click on your device again like you did to back it up and you're, and you're going to restore from backup. So after jailbreak completes, uh, you're going to sync all your stuff and then hit restore from backup and it'll uh, put everything back, even your icon layout and everything. So let's go ahead and try out this jailbreak now. It has finished um, and it opens up in a DMG file on Mac. Uh, Windows and Linux I believe it's available for and it should work pretty much the same exact way. So let's go ahead and try this out. Um, I also heard that some people had problems on Windows or something like that. If you don't leave these files in the same folder, which I don't believe would be a problem. I believe you can move anywhere and it should still work. But if this jailbreak doesn't work for you for some reason, I would go ahead and leave all this stuff in the same folder. Um, I, that, I think that was a problem with the last jailbreak. I pro it probably doesn't um, occur with this one, but it may. And I don't even know if in the last one that was true or not. Uh, but basically, you're just going to click jailbreak. I got the camera over on my device over there. And I'll keep you guys updated throughout the progress of the jailbreak and what's going on. And uh, you can see the progress going on on my phone over there. Uh, one more thing I do want to say while this is going through, um, I believe this jailbreak will also be available in a command line uh, interface, which is like terminal you can use here. Um, and it's also going to be available with Redstone, I believe. Uh, this way, it is the simplest way because you don't, have to DFU, you don't have to do DFU mode or anything like that. You can just click jailbreak and it does everything for you. Uh, and Redstone, if you do DFU mode and command line interface, uh, that's just difficult for most people and they don't understand how to do that. Uh, you basically just put commands into terminal and it'll jailbreak it. 
uh, but some people have no idea how to do that and they're not familiar with that at all. So I'd recommend Green Poison if you're a uh, first time jailbreaker. It looks like the phone is now powering down. Uh, one thing I do want to say really quickly here as a warning, um, in the last version of Absinthe, uh, you were not supposed to touch your device at all uh, while the jailbreak is going on. And um, for me, when I jailbroke last time, it, pop it had a pop-up message that said, don't touch your device. Um, but I already touched it, so it came up a little. the message came up a little bit late. And it didn't actually mess mine up, it was fine. Um, but just make sure not to touch your device until the process is completely done. So the phone just started up, and also Absinthe is now saying waiting for process to complete, and it says done now. So actually this version of Absinthe did not say anything about touching your device, so it may be okay, but I would still want to do it. Uh, I just realized that I wasn't recording my phone this entire time. Uh, I was going to have the screen recorder going on my computer and then have my camera recording my phone. Uh, but I just realized I never hit record on the camera. Uh, so the only thing you guys missed over here was the actual jailbreak process occurring on my phone. Um, but you don't have to do anything. It didn't really do anything. It just didn't like, it looked like it was kind of restoring uh, pretty much. Uh, and the only thing you have to do on the computer is hit jailbreak. So that's all you have to do. Um, and when I opened up Cydia, you had to uh, prepare the file system and respawn. And then you get to choose, um, it's, it asks you who you are, a user, developer, hacker. And I always choose developer, but basically you can read through this, the, uh, the information that it displays then. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and show you guys that CD is working perfectly fine. You go to the homepage here, it's working, sections, changes, manage, and search are all working good. And it's loading up the packages right now. And um, I also do want to say, guys, you want to save your SHSH blobs. You can see up here all of my SHSH blobs that I've saved. You can use Tiny Umbrella or... Um, there's like this TSS queuing thing or something like that uh, on Cydia. If, if it's the first time you're jailbroken, it'll have the option to enable that or something like that. I can't remember. It was a while ago when I first had that pop up. Um, but basically, it saves all your SHS, SHSH blobs like remotely to like a server or something like that. Uh, so you can always have them saved and then they'll pop up in the top of Cydia gear. Um, and I also have it saved on my computer using Tiny Umbrella. So whichever way you prefer to have them saved locally in your computer. So you always have a copy of them right there. Um, or if you uh, want them saved remotely on like a server or something like that, uh, Cydia will do that for you when you jailbreak. Um, but I forgot to show you guys in the beginning of the video, uh, one, because I actually just forgot, and two, even if I did show you guys, I wouldn't be able to because I forgot to hit record, of course. Um, but I am running version 5.1.1, and uh, this is untethered. I'll go ahead and do a reboot here. Uh, so I'm, I am running 5.1.1, there you can just see Cydia, so it's obviously jailbroken at 5.1.1. Um, and this is a 4S. It's got the two, it's got a band up here, it's got a band down here and up there. And uh, the same thing with the right side. Uh, so this is an iPhone 4S and I'll prove series on there also. Um, I, I know there's Siri ports and stuff, but basically this is a 4S. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Right now I'm, I'm just going to prove it, it does boot up. Uh, I thought you guys know it is untethered. Um, so even if even if you don't leave it to 4S, which I have no idea why you wouldn't, but if you don't, then let's say it's an iPhone 4, all right? And if it boots up here, um, we still have proven that there's an iOS 5.1.1 untethered jailbreak. So I'm going to have to um, put in all my stuff again here. But it has just rebooted, and we'll go ahead and go back over here. Cydia is not white, and it still loads up. So it is untethered jailbreak file was 5.1.1, just to confirm that. And also, when I first, um, before I opened up Cydia for the first time to prepare the file system, uh, mail here was white. Um, and I know on the previous jailbreak 5.0.1, those white icons stayed, but actually after I opened Cydia once, um, they, they're not staying there anymore, so it went away. But I'm not sure if they're going to come back or not. Oh, those beautiful white icons are gone now, it looks like. That was that was a joke there if you guys didn't catch that. Um, yeah, okay. But that is pretty much it. The jailbreak is completed. Uh, if you guys want to read through the information on this site over here, you can. Uh, and, all the downlink, and all of the download links, of course, over there. Um, currently, it's 8.30 in the morning. They just released this about an hour ago. I don't know how this is going to work once the, uh, the crowds of people come from school and stuff like that uh, and get off work. I'm not sure how uh, the servers and stuff are going to hold up, but I'm going to assume that this uh, jailbreak should work better. I'm, I'm going to probably think that there shouldn't be a problem. But if the servers are down over here, over here at the Green Poison site, there will probably be mirrors of the program um, to different sites, so I'll, I'll just go ahead and throw those in the description if I find those. Um, because the green poison site may may go down. Um, it may not, it may. Uh, so just on the safe side, I'll throw some in the description if it does go down. And if I don't get any in the description, um, 
just wait for the site to come back up. It will eventually. Uh, so just be patient with that. Uh, but that's it, guys. Um, if any problems do occur during the during uh, the jailbreak process, go ahead and comment down below and I'll try to help you out with that. If you enjoyed this video and helped you out, I'd appreciate a like down below. Uh, that helps me out greatly. You guys can also follow me over on Twitter. Um, my Twitter username is the same as my YouTube username. I check every week. And that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your morning, and I'll see you in the next video.